This question is from Eugene. And he says, thanks for offering this very pertinent discussion. To maintain the subject object perspective is to maintain an ego, the I that wants things. Uh, I disagree with that, but we'll keep going here. Duality is the realm of the ego. No, it's the realm of reality, okay? Um, where contrast exists. Thus, one cannot escape pain if one wants pleasure. <laughs> okay. Well, this is interesting. You want food? Starve or get too fat. All the while, our creator might like to be recognized for his or her gift, the gift of being. Do we want separation from our source? That's not possible. Sorry, Eugene. It's not possible. As eternal beings, we can have that. No. <laughs> but why? What else? Where else? Could be any better than in the merge with God. The bliss of this was covered pretty well, although soup may not be my favorite description. Sorry about that. I call it the soup. Returning to source is the epitome of sacredness. Far from any description. I know, that's true. It may seem scary to give our egos up. No, it doesn't. <laughs> As if we were going to be annihilated, but no. God is reality and reality is love. If we trust this, there could be no better state of being. Maya, which is changing illusions, may be here for as long as time lasts, but eternity, permanence will always be. That's true. This is where God is. When we are ready, God will help us take the last step. All else is child's play, but it's not a sin. It's right. It's just a mistake compared to the absolute. No, it's not a mistake either. It's just other than the absolute. At any rate, why not let the creator decide for us? What better wisdom is there? Jesus will always be nearby to help us on our journey to God, the ultimate journey indeed. Well, Eugene, let me just say thank you for all of your lovely comments, but I disagree with almost all of them. And this is the perfect example of a lot of what I call new age mumbo jumbo mixed in with a little bit of truth mixed in with a lot of judgment that is not correct. So the ego you need, the ego is present and watching all of the time. If you define the ego as a selfish bastard, well, then, yeah, you don't need that. But that's not the ego. The ego is who and what is always present, watching over, making sure you are safe wherever you happen to be. And when you take on that job and you become present, then you begin to not need the ego. And it just falls naturally to the background. No need to demonize the ego or be trying to get rid of the essential parts of yourself. And that is one of the things that I have a hard time with in the new age mumbo jumbo. Get rid of the ego. That's crap. That's part of you. The whole move toward becoming whole and complete in the Godhead is that you integrate all your pieces and parts. You don't throw some of them out. Um, okay, one cannot escape pain if one wants pleasure. Ah, uh, let me tell you, Eugene, you are wired for two things, pleasure and pain. That's all your brain can discern, pleasure and pain. If you stimulate the pleasure, you're moving in the right direction. If you stimulate the pain, the message is you're going in the wrong direction. Pain is to teach you to go the other way. So the, do you want food? Do you starve or get too fat? Uh, you need food. As a three-dimensional being, you need food, and you need to use food to take good care of yourself, to, be, to get full nutrition. So uh, all the while, our creator might like to be recognized for his or her gift, the gift of being. Do we want separation from our source? That is not possible. You are made of source. When they talk about separation from God, 
what they're talking about is people who don't recognize that they're made of God. So they've lost touch with their inside self. The inner teacher is the God within. So as eternal beings, we can have that. Have what? Have separation from source? No, you can't. Um, but why? What else? Where else could be better than the merger with God? Not much else could be better, but not in the context that you're saying. The bliss of this was covered pretty well, although soup may not be my favorite description. Yeah, returning to source is the epitome of sacredness, and it is far from any description. So uh, it may seem scary to give up our egos. No, it's not. It's freeing. It's absolutely freeing. You give up your ego, you're in a place where you have all of yourself, where you're peaceful, you're present, and you're no longer programmed. That's what it means. Give up the programming. You need the ego. Just give up the programming. Okay? Programming is when somebody says this, you should feel that. When somebody does that, you should do this. You know, the programming, our responses are programmed right into us. Better start examining those when you want to return to God. Um, God is reality. Reality is love. This is reality. It's messy and wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right now, it's really messy. It's still wonderful. If we trust this, there could be no better state of being. Maya may be here for as long as time lasts, but eternity permanence will always be. Let me just say that when you move into the full Godhead and become that Godhead, then you're no longer an individual. You're in source. You become part of source. It's a system. Um, it's a, you know... Life is a system, okay? You're made a source. You're formed out of it. You grow up. You flower, so to speak, and then you, um, you die and you go back to source. Unless, of course, you know, you're not ready to go to source, in which case you go to the way station and you figure out, okay, how do I develop further? The joy of life is immense. It's meant to be enjoyed. Eventually, you will return to source. But there's a long time between where we are now and the ability to become source again. Okay? Uh, when we are ready, God will help us take the last step. When you are ready, you will take the last step in tandem with God. True. Uh, all else is child's play. It's just a mistake. No, there's no mistakes. This whole reality is beautiful. And it bothers me that people want to make this second class or not worth the, the experience. It's an, it's an amazing, it's, a, it's an astounding experience. There's nothing wrong with duality. As soon as you leave source, you're in duality. As soon as you leave duality uh, or leave source and enter duality, then you will have the opportunity to experience everything life offers. And that's what it's about. So, uh, okay. Why not let the creator decide for us? No. Decide for yourself. Who are you? Where are you going? You know, if you want to return to source, we can all say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. You know, we'll see you on some future date in some future time. <laughs> but the ultimate journey um, is really living. That's why God lends his being to us. So we can enjoy it.